um, Israel or Israeli journalists can be communicating with college students better? What are they doing wrong? What any suggestions you have for e either here let's, or in Israel? Let's speak about the states. I, I, I feel you know one of the revelations I got from blogging in English was being exposed for the first time for the U.S. for the Jewish community here, and Israelis perceive that the Jewish community is this monolith of people who drive to synagogue, usually sit, you know, they don't really know the difference between reform, conservative, and orthodox. They kind of suspect that some of them are more Jews and some of them are less and something like that. It's not very PC, but, but that's, I think, would be a very accurate way. And, and Israelis are not PC as well, so I'm not doing them injustice. But, and, and I have, kind of this notion of, you know, people speak about American Jews, a society which is as big as Jews in Israel. What they speak about them, like in this phrase, American Jews are like that. They're all Democrats. They all vote for Obama. They're all, uh, which is kind of generalizing and oversimplifying everything. And um, I worked on a, on a program called for uh, Taglit and Birthright for Young Judea. It's a student organization. We did summer camps for, for Jewish kids in uh, Israel in the 1980s, and, you know, five weeks summer camps. And we did all these explanations about American society, Israel society, and I don't think I really got it until I started writing and talking to American Jews and, and, and understanding the vast variety of what's going on here, and, and the intellectual life, and the, the real debate. And I think most Israelis are still there, and that's where our initiative started. For example, you know, Ynet has an English site. This is the site that dominates the news cycle in Israel. But have you ever seen the English site? It's very poorly maintained. And you get like 10 comments, and not really a debate and it's like not really updated all the time so there's this disconnections be, be, between the two societies and this is where blogs come you know in our magazine a bit of self-promotion uh, uh, in our magazine we do a daily roundup of Hebrew media uh, from our perspective it's all right you know <laughs> so uh, um, and we do it in English, so people can know what's, what Israel is really about. I think that both societies, Israelis and, and American Jews, had a kind of image on one another, which is more like their reflection of their fears and anxieties and their thoughts of Judaism and a lot of other things than what it really is. And I think that social media gives us <coughs> the, the opportunity to, to, to break this, this, this myth, this mythical American Jewish community in the eyes of Israelis and the mythical Israel in the eyes of American Jews, which is often manipulated by politicians, which is often a, a, a fantasy, I think. So I'm really excited about the opportunity to, to engage in this kind of dialogue. And I feel that for my younger generation, it's even, you know, it's, it's even stronger. You know, people go on birthright, but the stuff doesn't end when they leave on the plane back to the States. And they, 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 they argue about Israel and they talk about it. And if we can interact with these people directly, I think that, you know, even for the Jewish people as a whole, something very interesting can happen. I'm not sure we're going to be very happy with everything we're going to find on this society, but I think it will be a very good thing for both, for both societies. I would like to look at the larger picture and not speaking only about uh, Jewish students. I would like also to refer to 
to Israel's challenge to reach young audiences, students, uh, or people on campus um, in the entire American society. And I think this is our biggest uh, challenge because most people, most young people don't find Israel relevant. And when you don't find Israel relevant, you can't bring the Israeli story to people, you can't make people, you can't make young people to care about uh, Israel, and you can't change a uh, people perception because they don't find you relevant. So our biggest challenge is to try to see how we make Israel relevant to different audiences, especially to young, to young audiences, because from a, from the research we have, we see that young people don't perceive Israel as relevant. So one of the things is to try to see what young people are interested in and to see what Israel has to offer to these uh, audiences. And I bring, uh, I bring some examples. Most people are not interested in politics. Most young people are not interested in politics. And sometimes we, Israelis, we believe that we have to bring the, our narrative, we have to bring our story because we want them to know Israel's side. But this is a mistake because someone is not interested in politics and you're trying to bring him information which is irrelevant to him. So what we are trying to do, we are trying to find what people are interested in and to try to bring Israel as a relevant a, 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 a topic to these audiences. Let's take, for example, a liberal audiences a, on campus. Let's take, for, a, for example, a people who belong to the LGBT a, a organizations or to the LGBT community. If we succeed to bring them the story of the LGBT society in Israel, and we try to reflect to them, or we try to show them how people in Israel, how LGBT, uh, how the LGBT community in Israel is acting, is, is, is living, then all of a sudden Israel is relevant also for people who usually don't perceive Israel as relevant. If people are interested in technology, in environment, if you are interested in design a, a, and so on and so forth, Israel has a lot to offer in these fields. And if we succeed to bring this story to the young generation, all of a sudden we succeed to make Israel relevant to these audiences. And with social media and with new media, we have the opportunity to bring these stories, something we couldn't do before. But all of a sudden, we have this revolution where we have a media outlet in our hands, first. And second, which is even more important, it's not something that should be done or must be done or, have been, or, 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 or should be done by the Israeli government. Here, societies can speak between themselves. Young people in the States can find relevant topics to speak to the, the to the colleagues or to the uh, uh, to the young generation in Israel, and this is one of the the nice things of the of social media.